This video introduces a quick and easy solution to drive a motor using Renesis's cost-effective 16-bit microcontroller RL78. By using an inverter board equipped with RL78G1F, a communication board, an emulator such as E2 Lite, sample software, and tools such as Configuration File Generator, CFG, Renesis Motor Workbench, RMW, provided by Renesis, driving and evaluating the motor can be easily done. In this first video, we will show you how easy it is to drive a motor even when you change the motor or inverter board. If you are using the evaluation environment for the sensorless vector control sample software on the Renesis website, you can download the sample software Program it to the microcontroller on the inverter board using the E2 Lite emulator and immediately drive the motor using one shunt resistor current detection method. Let's see how easy it is to drive a motor, even if you change the motor or the inverter board. We will actually change the motor and drive the motor using an inverter board with three shunt resistor current detection method. The parameters on the five header files in the config folder of the sample software need to be changed in order to change to another motor and an inverter board with three shunt resistor current detection method. This requires calculating the control parameters based on the characteristics of the motor and inverter board, as well as designing the Q format number and scaling to the PU system for use in control operations. With the Configuration File Generator, CFG, provided by Renesis, you can easily generate all header files automatically by simply entering the parameters of the motor and inverter, including them in the sample software and building it to easily drive the motor. Make sure that the corresponding sample software is selected in Software Select. Mode Select allows you to select the current detection method, modulation method and use of low-pass filter, etc., depending on the control specifications. Click Register Inverter Data and set the inverter parameters such as dead time, current and voltage range according to the characteristics of the inverter board. Select the registered inverter board and confirm that the inverter parameters are reflected correctly. Click Register Motor Data and set the motor parameters such as the number of poles, resistance, inductance, etc. according to the motor characteristics. When you select a registered motor, the control parameters will be automatically calculated for you to check. Fixed values are displayed in the white cell. The orange cells display the value calculated from the inverter board and motor parameters. Designing Q-format number and scaling to the PU system for use in control operations is also done automatically. By specifying the location to save the files in the config folder of the sample software, and clicking the Output or Config File button, the designed parameter values can be reflected in the header files. Open an IDE such as CS Plus and make sure that the header files in the config folder are updated to reflect the parameter set in CFG. Select each header file and confirm its contents. Build the project. We have now modified the sample software to drive the motor using an inverter board with three shunt resistor current detection method. As you can see, even if you change the motor or inverter board, you can easily set the control parameters to drive the motor using CFG. Please continue to the next video introducing a software tool that can easily evaluate the motor control.